Well, it's difficult. It's always difficult in a way to talk about this because I wasn't. You know, it's um, uh, what an awakening is that there is a me, and then there isn't anything but wholeness. But there's no me in that. There's just nothing but wholeness. It's not experienced or known by anything. There's suddenly a blank in which there is wholeness, and it can't be described or known. And then it seems in awakening that the me comes out of the other side of that and wants to have what's just happened. I don't know what double seeing, what you mean by double seeing. I mean, um, for example, if I look at some a person or a, a tree, yeah. I'm also like in the tree uh, or in the person. Uh, and, um, what does that mean? Uh, it's hard to describe, but when you talked yesterday about detachment, I'm always worrying that I'm detached. Right. But I'm feeling like the, the body's here, so I'm not up there or something. But everything is like, um, if I'm looking at the wall, it's just if I'm there. And I, but I'm also here, so it's yeah, hard uh, to describe. And I, 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 my feeling is, my sense of what you're saying is what, we, what I'm talking about. There isn't anything here that would be in the wall, but in some way or other there's nothing here and there's nothing in the wall. There is just this what is. But it's certainly not a transference of this energy into anything. And that, does that yeah. ring a bell? No? Yeah, I mean, I'm just sometimes worried that it's really... Don't I'm worry. going mad. So. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Don't worry, there's nothing to worry about. Nothing really. There's all those sort of strange influences take, seem to take place, but there's nothing balmy about that anyway. But just this question, when, I mean, it's like, I mean, it's coming like out of my eyes. You know what I want to say? Mm. Well, you tell me. So there's, <laughs> so there's energy, you, you are coming out of your eyes. I mean, I see the things. But I'm also like feeling I'm out there. So I, I, my question is, when you say everything is energy, but I'm still, it's still like it's coming out of my eyes. Okay, so, so for me, that's still in a sense a projection of, okay. of me rather than there's nothing here. That's there's nothing here. So there's nothing anywhere else, and there's no uh, sense of something here being somewhere. I don't know, but that's what yeah. I can say. Really. But just another question, maybe the contrary. What, what would be detachment? Detachment would it be for the me. Out of the body or something? No, no, not at all. No, it doesn't have to be. Detachment is like being um, in a state within which is aware or knows everything else that's happening around that state. Therefore, this state in here is apart from that or the wall. It's apart, but it knows the wall and it's aware of it being there. That's the judgment. So there's a there's a space between this and that. So it's more like a what you're talking separation about is sorry? No, it's absolute separation. Okay. Uh, self inquiry is the most effective way to be separate. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, it's a sort of uh, um, something that's taken on by me, which has then become spiritualized and turned into some sort of special uh, function, which is actually only a sort of um, extreme self-consciousness, mm -hmm. which brings about an apparent all-knowing, all-aware, all-conscious state within, which is godlike. And it feels very free because somewhere there's something in here watching a film go on called life. So I'm watching life go on like God. You know. It's wonderful feeling. Really. It lasts sometimes it can last a week. <laughs> but it's a purely a state and it comes and goes. But what you're talking about doesn't feel that doesn't feel like detachment. There are strange things, you know, when there's an ending to this, there's all sorts of strange things that can happen like I am the tree or uh, But in the end, in the end, the final thing is indescribable. Nobody, I, this happens to a lot of people, it's happening to quite a few people now, 
that we come across, and they can't describe this, what <coughs> I call liberation, for want of a better word, cannot be described. I don't think I'm intrigued, just no. not so far away. Right, okay. 